All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna work on cooling down the off-grid shed using an old BYD battery fan. Stay tuned. At the workbench now, I'm gonna show you the fan I'll be using to cool the off-grid shed. So this is a 24 volt fan from BYD. This came off BYD batteries. I have three of them that I used recently to power the off-grid shed. I have a whole video series on that. Check it out. I'll leave links below as well as a card above. So this fan is quite powerful. I have three of these. Here's one without the panel that I took apart. I'm going to go ahead and transfer the safety panel to this side of the fan when I mount it up in the loft in the shed. That'll help keep things safe and so forth. This fan is extremely powerful as well as dangerous. I'll tell you a quick story. I actually was uh, experimenting with this fan. I wanted to try it out a couple months ago and I plugged it into a bench power supply and this thing threw so much air that I actually flipped over and uh, nicked my index finger, other hand, and uh, sent me to the emergency room. I had to have my finger glued up. And I think most people know on this channel that I'm a musician, piano player, so it was a big scare. But uh, so if you're ever gonna to use a fan like this, you definitely wanna take safety precautions. So let's go ahead now and we'll take this fan apart. I'm actually gonna use this one and we'll put it on a bench power supply. I'll show you how much air this thing actually moves. It's quite impressive. So I have the fan and panel in my vise and it's not going anywhere. Also have it hooked up to my power supply, positive and negative. I'm gonna turn up the voltage a little bit. Kept the original connector here and I just came off, worked on a lead, I'll show you what I have. So I just added here positive and negative lines and then I put a little inline fuse, three amps and then I just have it off the banana plugs. So let's go ahead, turn up the voltage, and I'll show you um, the power of this fan. It's quite impressive. So let's go ahead and put some juice on it. You hear it ramping up here. It's 28 volts right there. And it's really throwing some. Now, here's a paper towel. It's pretty, uh, pretty wild. So that should work really well in the shed. Should be able to move a lot of air. For a temporary setup in the shed, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and use a 19 volt power supply I have off an old laptop. And that's set to 19 volts. So I want to show you what that looks like and sounds like. I think that would be plenty of, of air to be moved here. And that will be run off this old power supply that I grabbed from a recycling bin. So here's my setup. We have a 19 volt power supply from an old HP laptop. And then it goes um, into a DIN style plug adapter to step it down. And then to this um, ASE plug. And then from the plug, it's gonna go into another ASE plug then to a terminal block, positive and negative, then to the uh, other wire I just showed you before, and that heads to the fan. So let's go ahead and plug this in and make sure everything works. So I think that's a good voltage to be at, about 19 volts. I think 19 volts is kind of the sweet spot for not running this fan too hard. It's kind of two thirds power and you're still moving a lot of air. Let's go ahead to the shed and get things hooked up. I'm just gonna do a temporary setup in the loft 
you can see I got the bolts through. So here's a closer look of the vent. Got the bolts through to secure the fan. Uh, I originally just put the fan up right against the vent, drilled through the holes on the fan to get my pilot holes, and then I just came back through with the bolts. Just using A32 stainless steel bolts. These are three inches. And I'm also using some uh, rubber um, like sink gaskets or sink oil washers. And uh, those will help reduce any vibrations so the fan's not vibrating right on the plywood. Keep down any extra noise. But the fan's gonna be pretty loud anyways. But uh, anything extra you can do to, to eliminate some vibration and noise is, uh, is a good thing. So I have everything roughed in right now. Got the fan installed, got the cables running down just temporarily right now. And everything's running into a smart switch. So let's go ahead and turn this on, turn the fan on for the first time. We can test it out and see uh, how it works. Here we go. That's, uh, that's pretty loud. That's pulling some air too. And that's only running at two thirds power. That's uh, 19 volts. This thing can go up to 30 volts. Right, this thing sounds like a jet engine. Alright, gotta show you how much air this is throwing out. I mean, it's awesome. It's all high air coming out. Now I just shut off the fan, just want to talk about another option. There's actually two options. I can run the fan directly off a solar panel. I'm thinking about using a 12 volt because 20 volts is about the max on a 12 volt panel in full sun. And that's about where that fan's sitting right now, 19 volts at that speed. It's a pretty good speed. So I can do that or I could run it directly off our off-grid you know, power system here. And uh, this system is 24 volts. so. You know, I could dial it down with a buck converter or, uh, you know, I could just run it a little higher RPMs. But this is definitely a second option here is tying right into my bus bars and then powering the fan from there. Uh, but I do like the smart Alexa configuration, be able to set schedules and so forth. So, you know, three options. Run it off AC with a smart switch, which is here, or run it off a solar panel so it's running all the time when there's sunlight or running off the system here, you know, and powering it directly off DC, the most efficient. But we're not talking a lot of watts here, you know, this is like, you know, 20, 25 watts max. All right, guys, gonna go ahead and finish up the video now. Still have some work to do here, but this is a first good step, getting that fan mounted and just getting some power to it. And uh, being able to run this off Alexa, put it on a schedule and so forth, until I wanted to make the final preparations as far as either running off the dedicated solar panel or running off the off-grid shed as far as the batteries and the bus bars. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, come on back for more videos, and take care.